Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 62, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And uh, we just finished leveling up Atten and um, T3 and get it, making sure that they're all equipped and stuff. Uh, why is why is this blinking at me? I meant to check on that in between in between episodes because I made a battle stimulant. Um, I kind of wish it wouldn't blink about things that you've already done, but oh well. All right, so everybody is leveled and good. And I wonder, can I? Come on, talk to T three. We just got this message ah. on the comm. Never mind. Looks like trouble. All right, here we go. I think this is something. This is the uh, message we can't avoid. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. All right, let's uh, let's gather them. I will join you shortly. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Welcome, Anon Jr. I regret this message has taken so long in reaching you, but I only recently became aware of your presence on Nar Shada. <laughs> I made sure you knew, though. I am Visquis, a representative of an exchange of shipping interests. I'm extending an invitation to you to join me in my private lounge within the Jack Jack Tar, where we may speak without being disturbed. Mm hmm. Speak. I wish to discuss something of mutual in mutual interest concerning your past profession and prospects. Oh, and do come alone. One human in my presence is more than enough. Well, good thing it's not a trap. Thank you, you Captain about? Obvious. It's obviously a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Narshadar, and he may have information, but the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. All right. Uh, I'm going to go see him well, then. I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Oh, look, it's someone else. Has there been news from the scout? Last news I heard of was the Jedi was back and on the piece of junk he called the ship. Keeps going back and forth, yada yada. This is very frustrating. We're big time bounty hunters. Very important. Very famous. Who are you again? But then the target comes at us for collection, then we could do nothing except sit and wait. I feel as if I'm back on the Labor Commission on Duros. It's one of the reasons we started affecting policy change with our blasters. The scout has reported back with very strange news. The exchange has arranged for a meeting with the Jedi. I do not understand why they would do that. I had thought they wanted to watch him, see if the Jedi could attract other Jedi. Perhaps the Jedi caused so much trouble, Goto got tired of it. Yeah. Maybe they find other Jedi. Maybe. We shall see. No, it's obvious what Goto intends to do. Goto intends to hire us to drive the Jedi to Nar Shada. Now that the Jedi is here, Goto doesn't need to pay us anymore. He'll try to capture the Jedi himself. But we cannot attack the Jedi. Goto will put bounties on all our heads. Then we'll take the Jedi's companions and the Jedi's ship hostage. Uh-oh. Uh, big trouble in Little Narshida. Alright, so... This this is why I did this is part of why I did the leveling when I did because I can no longer grab any other crew I can't level them I, I really wish that you could level other crew when you were on the ship but for whatever reason it won't let you do that uh, just it's probably because technically your party on the ship is a party of one and, and they have to be in your party for you to be able to level them I, I just wish they had made an exception for that when you're on on board the ship. But let me run dangerously with a double-bladed sword. That, that that seems the quick way to a paper cup. And uh, let's head straight for Jek Jek Tar. I, as much as I would love to use one of the other uh, implants or something like the, the combat sensor for the bump and dexterity, uh, I'm going to keep the breath mask equipped. Um because I'm going to be going through uh, the place that is mostly poison. And uh, 
I don't need the dex boost that bad. Yet. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, and you're about to see why I made sure that Atten was on my list of people to level... Ooh, no, I need the north entrance. Exit entrance. Um, I really do need to go through all the shops, too, and, and see if I can't get the best gear out of what I got. But I need a notebook to figure out, like, who needs what and all that good stuff. Hey, Atten! Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact uh -huh. you via the comm link if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Um, <laughs> Just wait here. I'll be back soon. Look, just relax. I can handle this. <laughs> Would you just leave me alone? I don't need or want your help. That's kind of a, an about face for what I've been doing. All right. You didn't follow up here just to warn me of that. I appreciate the warning. Thanks. I'll be careful. Uh, We've been trying to... Treat him nice. I mean, the whole goal is until we could get him to become a Jedi, but there's no sense in changing after that. So let's go. I appreciate the warning. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your yeah. suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Oh, don't. Don't worry. We're about to... <laughs> we're about to... Somebody's about to be seizing on the floor. Might have something to do with the sword stuck between their ribs. That's comforting. All right then. Watch yourself and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return. And I know just the place. And we're about to be a party of Atten. Oh wait, no, not yet. We got another conversation first. We so get to get you're the to the big door. Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Nar Shadda, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. Never mind. I'm not going to make the obvious joke about lightsabers. Uh, <laughs> look, I don't have a lightsaber, and I sure don't have time for this. Who are you? What's it to you? Is that some kind of threat? Uh, who are you? I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging. Mm -hmm. That's fact. I had you in my sights ever yeah, since you it's landed. a fact that you're bragging. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, that's kind I know of the that point. Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jack Jack Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's going to lure you trap. in there, start a fight, and then he's going to wrap you up and deliver you to Goto, dead, claiming you attacked him. <laughs> Got anything else obvious to say? Um, Viscos is the only way to meet Goto and settle this bounty. It's something I have to do, so what's it to you? Eh, let's just stick with the more taciturn. It's something I have to do. Well, whatever your reasons are, the fact you're meeting with Viscos is what I want to talk about. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are going to get real ugly real quick. Oh yeah, for the bounty hunters. Then I'll kill my way to Goto then. Uh, I've been a target ever since I entered Republic space. Let him come after me. I've survived this long. That's still a little too arrogant. So let's just go. I've been a target ever since I've entered Republic space. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Uh-oh. What's about to happen to my friends? Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pizak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Not so much. Give me a hit of Juma and keep them coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. That's <laughs> what I love about Nar Shadda, the company. Yeah, I don't think you're going to so, love this company. I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Or? We are dancers, yes. Slaves once, no, no more. Yeah? What happened to your master? He was made deceased. <laughs> we serve no one but ourselves. He was made deceased. Hmm, I wonder how. And of course, tell us, why have you come to the smuggler's moon? 
Perhaps you're looking for something, perhaps us. Well, if that isn't a straight line, I don't know what is. No, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm him. Because with assassins like you two running around Narshida, I think you're another problem my friend doesn't need. Assassins? Us? He means one who kills for money. He doesn't understand. We only wish the exile. Submit, or else we shall kill you and find other bait. <laughs> There's some jokes in there too that I won't get into. I try to keep this family friendly. Oh, okay. Alright, if that's what you wish, then we shall end you. Cue dramatic music. It has been too long since we've killed. Yeah, about that. Alright. So. Here we go. Um. He does appear to be missing headgear. What happened to his headgear? Alright. I, I don't I don't know why stuff randomly unequips like that, but okay. So I've got a couple options. They are clearly shielded. So let's go ahead and stun. Stun. No. Um let's stun the first one. They've got melee weapons, so let's pop a melee shield. Let's uh, try a stun there, and this is why I wanted the battle stems to be ready, too. And then we'll go from there. Oh, good. That worked even better than I thought it would. <laughs> His uh, meager force points are just about out. Um, I wish it told me uh, what the red down arrow was from. What did, it, what did he end up taking a hit on? Alright. Or is it because he doesn't have enough points? Okay. Oh yeah, this is about to get bad. Alright. Let's uh, keep very close watch on the health there. Let's uh... Oh. Where is uh... Oh. Grab an advanced med pack and... Queue up another attack. Um, there's a regular med pack. They're a little cheaper. All right, there's one down. Get another med pack in the queue because we'll need that in a second. Yeah, she's hitting a little harder than I want. We'll go ahead and just keep switching back and forth between attack and med pack. Keep my health higher up. Although... Okay. Let's switch to melee. This, this blaster thing is clearly not working out so well. Thing I kept a high stock of all those. Uh... Well, that's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is going to get real bad, real fast. I, I guess I should have switched to melee sooner. The others. Good to know. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. <laughs> well, if you're going to hide. Detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, 
Why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters in Nar Shadda is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. He was told Speaking to of bounty hunters at your back. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after him as well. We need to go rescue him. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than he is. <laughs> Speaking of trouble. Ah, look, refugees here on the landing pad. Are you lost? Or perhaps you've lost your criminal Jedi exile leader. Perhaps that is more likely. Yes, very. I am somebody who's about to be dead soon. Very powerful. Very skilled. It would be very smart of you to tell me where the criminal Jedi has gone. And do speak very quick. My patience is very low. <laughs> Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. Uh, this is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing the stench is what keeps intruders away, or it certainly has its own distinctive smell. It certainly has its own distinctive smell. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like yeah. doing it, if you can believe it. Uh, smell doesn't seem to bother you much. Enough talk, get to the point. So why did you bring me here? Eh, let's try for some small talk first. I'd say I've gotten used to it. This is actually perfume compared to how the rest of the docks smell. Uh, so why did you bring me here? You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise I know. there. The Thank thing you. is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. Um. So what are you going to do about it? Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Uh. How do you figure well, that? That smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is going to start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Except I got right, that Jedi? poison mask. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back it's soon. It's okay. Ignore that. The story's happening. Ignore your equipment. Story time's happening. Hush. Don't think. Don't think. <laughs> So, it seems the Exile has chosen to come after all. Seal the entrance to the Jek Jek Tar. Eh. Unlock the sequencer to the private chamber. I will meet the human there. I have brought the Jedi to you. Now, where is Godo? You shall be compensated. The trap is not yet sprung. Until then, I request your patience. Did you just ask a Wookiee for patience? We are talking about a Wookiee, right? Okay, just... Just checking. Just checking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Alright, I need to get my awareness up. She has no bonuses in awareness. Uh, I need her awareness at about 15, I think. Because this is my last chance to complete a quest. And I can do that while controlling Mira, believe it or not. So, let's go ahead and level her up. Um, awareness is based off of wisdom. Okay, good. Alright, so let's go level up skills. Alright, that's awareness up to 10. And um, a bump treat injury up one more. Oh wait, no, she's got three more points. Uh, repair, demolitions, computer use. 
Okay, feats. She gets uncanny dodge too. Um, she does not have two weapon fighting. I think. Oh, she's already got dueling. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and continue the dueling tree. Cause that. Yeah, yeah. That helps. We'll, we'll just improve the dueling. Okay. And accept, and then level up, precise shot two. Uh, attributes, I could bump her wisdom up one more, which would give me another bonus there, although that constitution is awfully low. Um, I don't think I'm fighting with her so much as using skills. So let's bump up the wisdom, and then we'll go for constitution on the next two bumps. All right, skills. So that means that's technically an 11, 12. All right, and one more to treat injury. All right. Level up. That becomes 13. Okay. Um, and let's master the dueling. I mean, there's other stuff that I probably should be doing, but, uh, yeah, like, like medium armor would probably be nice too, but master dueling is going to give me a plus one to defense and I'm not sure I'm worried about the armor just yet. All right. And plus 13, 14. Oh, got it. I'm going to have to level her up one more go around. Okay. Accept. And that brings it up to 15. 14 plus the plus one for, a w for the wisdom score. Because um, I don't want to level her up more than I have to. She will eventually become a, a crew member. And she is somebody that you can tr train to be a Jedi. And I'd really rather that um, than continuing up the, the scout tree. So I'm trying to get her the minimum levels necessary to get the skills I need to do the quest. Let's go to the feats. Um, so we've got the Master Dueling. She's already got close combat. What does the what does the improved close combat do? Uh, short range, you get a plus two, and the characters in melee combat. Oh, okay, yeah, no, let's uh, let's bump up that improved close combat. It shouldn't come in handy, but I I, I think it might. Okay, and accept. And that's it, because uh, my main goal was the skill levels. So, uh, I know I know I do want to level her up more, but I'm not going to just yet. Let, you know what, let me go ahead and save the game while I'm thinking about it. That seems smart. All right, and if you want to see what happens next with her, then uh, if you're watching on YouTube, You'll have to wait till the next episode. If you're with me on the live stream, hang tight. Because we're going to get to that in just a second. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any 
questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.